Mount Kane! It's 1 0. Puts Wiki down. 13th in the championship. The takeover happened, as I said it would. People will be. Oh, when, when have we got leads? You, you, you know who I'm talking to. You're going to get what's coming to you, I'm telling you. Listen, now then, people, welcome back to the Just Your Football Show. To be honest, I just got into bed, yeah, thinking, you know what, I'm going to have an early night. And we were talking about Star Wars off air last night, me and Lockie and Andrea. So I put Andor on because I haven't watched it yet. So I stuck the first episode of Andor in. I got about half an hour in. And then, yeah, Fabrizio um, stopped my early night. But it is what it is. Got to, got to, got to respect the grind. Um, and what, I, what I'm going to say as well, like, there's already like 500 people. So make sure you pay your rent and smash a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Make sure you check out Lockie Leeds and, of course, Andrea Russo on Twitter. What does that mean? That means that they're waiting in the background. Do you know what I mean? But we like to build it up. You know, they're, they're, they're the true stars of this. They're the true stars of this. I'm just a hype man. I'm the badass Billy Gunn to their Triple H and Shawn Michaels. That's, that's what we're dealing with here. But it is just so nice for us. We were just talking about it there. It is just so nice for us as soon as these sort of things that everyone starts going, you know, oh, I use going live, I get messages, I get tweets and everything. So it's 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 wholesome, man. It's nice. Um, Jamie says, pointless getting excited. I hear it, bro. I hear it, I do. But you've got to, man. You've got to take your wins when you can. But it does come with a massive caveat. I, I, I agree. Um... But without further ado, of course, it's time for D. Joe Rennie. <laughs> Hang on, let me try that again, because I've just seen a sick one there from Tushina. D. Joe Rennie. No, I can't do it. D. Generation X. D. Joe Ration X. Ah, don't wait. D. Joe Ration X there. Right, okay, without further ado. Are you ready? It's time for D. Joe Rennie. I can't do it. Ah! <laughs> but let's welcome in, uh, of course, it is uh, Lockie, who is Shawn Michaels, and uh, Triple H, uh, which, of course, is Andrea Russo. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Mate, I thought you were actually going to spit the water all <laughs> over your screen then. Um, let's go, as people say. Are you ready? Uh, I can't play it for longer because, unfortunately, my... Uh, yeah, it's broke. It's broke. Uh, but we get that. Are you... <laughs> oh, it's stopped working altogether now. Yeah. See what I mean? <laughs> there you go. Um, right, okay. Listen. Uh, excited? New sat. Well, to be honest, I'll I'll give you a little dip into our, our group chat. I sent a, a link to Fabrizio Romano, and basically, Lockie squealed. Lockie squealed. <laughs> Near enough, anyway. Lockie got very, very excited about this link uh, to Nadimi Amiri. Is that how I'm pronouncing it? Nadim no. Amiri? No, go on, Andrea, tell us. Come on. Nadim Amiri. No, I think I was close enough, man. Come on. Nad yeah, Nadim. Nadim. Nadim, like the, the okay. Danish uh, female striker. Okay, so <laughs> Nadimi <laughs> Amiri. Nadim Amiri. Nadim Amiri, there you yeah, go. They, they, they both have uh, Afghan here. origins, Afghan roots, so okay. they were close. Okay, yeah. okay. Now, exciting times, exciting times. We are going to touch on it. We are going to touch on it. Of course we are. That's why we're live. But first and foremost, what I do want to do, what I do want to do, big shout out to these legends, by the way, leads to that podcast, Rocco's Home Parish uh, Legends. If you haven't listened to them, make sure you do. Uh, great content. Um, we need to get them to tell us what they meant by the Tyler Adams stuff earlier on anyway in the week, but we'll we'll save that for another day. They need to come on, all of them. You know who I'm talking to. Um, but yeah, um, right. Okay, before we talk about Amiri, I want to get your opinion on the Joel Piro stuff. Because obviously, early this morning, it came out from a number of sources, Alan Nixon first, then Sky Sports, and then Phil Hay did a piece on it. Graham Smith's gone to the lengths of speaking to someone on Wales Online to do a long read piece on it. So that tells me it has something to it. Big up to Luke as well, by the way, another member there of um, of uh, the final word. Big up to Luke, ought to know better. Uh, uh, to be honest, mate, who's the bird you with there? She's all right. Uh, I'll tell you what, you've done all right for yourself there, <laughs> Lukey boy. <laughs> um, <laughs> but let's... Uh, Let's talk about Joel Pirro first and foremost, because what's going on there? Like, who wants to take it? I, I, no, actually, I'm going to come to you, Andrea, because you've been, 
yeah, go on. T- take it away, my man. For, for me, signing Joel Piro right now, especially going into the next week, will be a, a panic signing for me. Because he's a goal scorer, but under Russell Martin, under a specific system. If you look at his stats, outside of the two seasons where he worked under, under Russell Martin, and I, I don't think we'll get him, to be fair, but um, since you asked me, I think he performed because the, they were playing for him at Swansea, basically. They were like, the whole team was built around him and they mm-hmm. were playing for him. Now they have a different manager. Russell Martin is going to Southampton. Uh, he's brought his ball possession system to Southampton's low ball possession system. They have a new manager at Swansea. He hasn't scored in three games. And if you look at his stats before he, uh, he moved to, to Swansea under Martin, they weren't great, and but it's not just other goal scoring opportunities, you know. I think right now there's not many players left on, on, on the shortest, you know, so maybe they go for him because he's a player with in the last two seasons. I uh, state again, last two seasons, he had a very good uh, goal scoring uh, record at Swansea, but overall, will he fit the system for me? No, because. He's a poacher, yeah. He's a uh, physical, good on others. He has a good, uh, uh, good shooting stance, you know, from outside the box. But from what I've seen, for me, uh, he doesn't track back. He is not that versatile. He's not that fast. He's all the play and uh, his uh, uh, link up play for me aren't that great. He's he's a finisher, you know. Uh, I'm not against the player, honestly, because if you look at its goals, they are good goals. He, needs where he, he knows where he needs to be in that position, in that specific system again. So he has a good finish on him, especially from outside the box too. But in that specific system, I don't see him, honestly, as the perfect fit. The perfect nine we're looking at, especially looking at Farkas team. You know, he played at Norwich with Puki. Then as a backup, had strikers with f- similar physical characteristics to the Piro, you know, like uh, Jordan Road or Jordan Ogil. Mm. If you look at the uh, last season at the Gladbach, he played Marcus Turan, who was, of course, tends, like rather tends to drift void and attack one on one. Piro uh, has no one on one because he's not a pace, a pacey striker. He's a striker that needs to stay in the box, look for others look for a, a finish like Che Adams, for example, difficult type of body, of course, but he's a good goal scorer, a good finisher. But if you look at the system we play and how the striker move, just look at Rutter, how much he struggled in the, an, an unfamiliar position for him, especially in, on aerial balls, especially on, on the other play, because he needed to move a lot. Piroi is not a player who, who moves a lot off the ball. He moves a lot and he's good when he has space in front of him. When he has space in front of him, he's good. Is good in that specific situation, but is limited. He is very limited in that specific situation. He's not a bad player. I'm not saying he's mm-hmm. a bad player. Right now, there were better players out there, of course, but we left it late, so you need to, to take what's, what's left. And it won't be a bad signing, of course, in terms of pedigree for the league. Yeah. But mm-hmm. for the system, I have a lot of doubt, and I hope if we sign him, uh, that he can erase those doubts, you know. And my yeah. opinion is that Saints will sell Che, Adam, che Adams and they will sign Pyro, Pyro for me. Mm. That, that's the scenario I see. And, and and I just want to say as well, for anyone that, that, that doubts this, and others may say he does fit the system, but having listened to Andrea Locke uh, throughout these videos we've done, they've both said that. And, having, and I'm an avid listener of All Stats, aren't we? And they have also echoed them sentiments in terms of Joel Pirro and his 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 if he's suitable or enough for the system. Of course he's of course he's gonna score you goals. Would me, uh who who a, 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 a guy that's you know not doesn't look at it as in depth as 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 these lads do and needs to be educated on that. Would I get excited by Joel Pirro? Yeah, I think we all would. I think even Andre well maybe Andrea wouldn't actually but um <laughs> you know it, it's a body through the top but no Someone like me, of course, I get excited by Joel Pirro. Um, and I just, 
my, my thing is, and again, it's the same with the uh, Amiri, Amiri deal, uh, Lockie. Not to to pour, not to piss on anyone's bonfire, as the as the sentiment goes. It's like at the minute, I, I'm struggling to get excited about anyone because we have now been linked to some uh, some top ballers, right? Let's be honest. Even if you count Piro in there, Amiri. Now I don't know much about him, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna chat about it for sure. Um, Jed Spence has been linked as well, which I just think. It, I mean, if we could get that, mm. that would be amazing. Um, I've seen. Obviously, we've had um, Paintsill last night as well. That that seemed to come from decent sources. Um, this this O'Brien Kamara, um, and still not brought anyone in. So, what do you make to the Piro links? Do you think it has legs? I think. With the people that are saying it, you would assume it, it does, but do you back leads to get it done? Like someone said, you know, we don't get nice things. And I, and I, I, I sort of have to tend to agree. Do you know yeah, what I, mean? I think it is, it's, it's going to be a tough negotiation. There's going to be a lot of teams in Europe, as well as probably the Premier League, that will come in. And if they find out the price is if we're what, bidding, what, 8 to 12 million quid, a Premier League team will snap that up straight away. If it's the right system for him, he'll, he'll score 10 to 15 goals. So I think it is a difficult one for sure. And and I echo Andrea and what we've been saying for a, while, for a while. I don't think he's perfect for this system. But I think Daniel Farker as a coach is a, is a guy who will slightly adapt the way in which his game or our game to make him fit better, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Not ideal, obviously. He looks at Timu Puki. And when, when I watched Timu Puki, his off the ball movement was a big part of why he scored so many goals. Just in between the centre backs, in between the full back and the centre back, like you know, just black blind side. Yeah, just not being able to see him. Um, Piro's not that type of player, um, but what Piro is really good at, and let's be really anywhere in the box with a ball in terms of having a shot, you'll find the back of the net a lot of the time. And I think in any system, if you're that type of player and you can be used right by the coach, you will be effective in, in the team. But having said that, again, you've got to look at the price. We can't overpay for someone that isn't ideal for the system. You, you pay for Piro because he's a good player and he'll score some goals in, in championship. Let's be real, he's done it for the last two years. The proof is there. But I'm looking at other players who would fit it much better, who I think could get similar amount of goals for five million. You know, We know the names. We know the guys we're talking about. There will be competition and this is my worry i don't want us to spend too long trying to get this target especially for the price we're looking at as well i think we need to realize when you move to this quick if a premier league side shows interest you kind of just need to be like all right we'll yeah. leave that one as it is we can't have an aaron's mm. point to um aaron sorry max aaron's so like like, like andre said i'd like I'd be all you're right from Ali- you're from halifax lad don't be going aaron's it's yeah. aaron's all right yeah, <laughs> I get criticised my videos for saying Farker, not Farker. Honestly, oh, like, people take it. I'm from Yorkshire, we can't speak as it is, can we, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's... I would be excited when, if, if, it's, if it's real and, and it's there. I'd be excited, I would, obviously. Yeah. I think he's a good football player and we need good football players at our side. Like, if, if, we, if, I, if we come in with a Pion Palo, I'm more excited because I'm thinking, yeah, right, this guy's going to get us 20 plus goals in this league. With Piro, I'm relying on his pure talent and what he's yeah. done in the last two years, as opposed to being the perfect player for the system. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you Just... look at Piro, Piro goal score, goal scoring record, okay, brilliant, brilliant. Especially he scored loads of goals in the league in the last two seasons. Mm-hmm. But mm. as a all around player, you need, for example, if you just look at the system, I'd prefer Poyan Palo or even Duke. To him, but if it's right. it, it's down to just scoring goals, of course, like Loki said, and that's why I compared him to specific in specific situation Che Adams, because I think in the future, the future of Che Adams is strictly linked to Piroe. Because if Adams goes to Everton, the same Piroe. Like remember you know, the, goal, the goals Adams scored against Wednesday for for Saints in the opener of the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Piro is, is even the, even situation. the other day, even the other day against Plymouth at the back post, it was mm. you, you know what I mean. He's just there, bam, yeah, puts it in the back of the net. Whereas our strikers, I mean, if you look at Paddy, <laughs> he couldn't do that. If you look at Dan James the other day, um, he, yeah. Whereas them strikers, yeah. like you said, they don't miss from that distance, do they? They do not miss from that distance. 
Yeah, they're, 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 um, I, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned Banff Lack Radio because uh, also people are asking about Banff. I, I don't think Banff fits the system, but it's not moving away. We have already a, a striker with those skills and we have Rotter because I, I, I don't think it's a number nine, but I, I don't see them trying to switch him like we are saying on the wing right now. So they'll, they'll keep trying to develop him into a number nine. And then you have Piroe. Three similar strikers. You don't have a striker then with a different characteristic and the, um, especially the characteristics and the skills that Farke uh, developed and used the most in his spells at Norwich and Gladbach. You don't have a Puki type of player, for example. You don't have a Turam type of player. You have you will have three similar players, Rotter, Bamford and Pirouet. Rotor doesn't fit this system in the number nine position. Bamford is a good option from the bench because like Ogil and Rhodes were at Norwich, yeah. if you need the tall guy in the area, you can bring him on and even play with two strikers uh, in yeah. the second half when you need to come back, you, know, you need to equalize, you need to, to, to keep the ball up when you're defending uh, your, your advantage, you know? But you don't have a player with pace, a striker with pace up front. Then... Because yeah. Nyonto, if he stays, he'll play on the wing because he's the, the best position for Nyonto is uh, on the wing, mm. on the left wing. I, I was just going to say, Andre, as well. For me, that was Archer. I think that was the number one Absolutely. the club wanted. So, when they found out the value, they thought, yeah, yeah. no chance. So I was going to say that to you in response to, like, Andrea earlier on saying about it being a sort of panic by almost like Leeds United were waiting on Archer to see if Sheffield United could get a deal done. And obviously they've managed to get a deal done. I think 18 million with the buyback clause, that one's going to be soon announced. Um, mm -hmm. If it hasn't been already, although his dad said news to me earlier, I've seen that. I don't know if you caught that, but I think he's going to go there. But do you think that he was preferably the number one pick and then it's like, right, OK, well, what do we do now? Yeah, I think I think he was number one. They mentioned talk, waiting for Premier League clubs to decide squads. It's clear it was him for me that. Um, I would have loved him. I think in every way, shape and form, he fits the system perfectly. And some, I think his actual ability as a footballer, forget the system, his ability as a footballer is very good anyway. Um, I, I find it wild that Villa have actually sold him, to be honest. Um, mm. Maybe, again, he wanted a lot more minutes and he can't be promised them at Villa. But no. yeah, he was, he was number one for me. He would have been yeah. perfect for us yeah for sure um right let's get some super chats in and then we'll we'll talk about amiri who everyone is here for listen there's 1400 people there or thereabouts so big up to you all thanks for being here and don't forget to pay your rent and smash a like on the video um astro reefer says wiki already says he plays for leeds marching on together from oklahoma um just never know with the 49ers out of the blue uh, I, uh, uh, I don't know, man, because I could tomorrow there'll be eight days left, people. So it's all good getting linked by, you know, top tier journalists and all this sort of stuff. But ultimately, we need to see some action. We need to see some action. I'm sorry, because tomorrow will be eight days, which means on Friday, people, there will be a week, a week. And we if we're being realistic, we need five or six. And the closer we get to the window shutting, the more I think, oh, my God, we're going to get two or three. And that's not enough for me. It's not enough. Um, so, yeah. I don't, and again, I'm trying not to get too gassed because we've seen so many good players linked over the past 72 hours and none of them are in the door yet. None of them, which is a big worry for me. Are they struggling to get them over the line? I'm, I'm not too sure. Because the thing is, it's 2023. And as much as you can say, you know, um, they move in silence and all this, ultimately it comes out, people, because it is 2024, uh, 2023, and <laughs> wishing the year away. Um, and it's the age of the internet, you know, and it's someone in passing sees them, it's someone's family member tells someone. Ultimately, you cannot keep anything under wraps these days, especially when it comes to football clubs making signings. So we'd have heard something. And we haven't. It's just like, oh, they're interested. Oh, they may table a bid, but nothing with me on the bones. Uh, big and, up to uh, the leads that put. Go on, mate. No, and especially tomorrow uh, is the day when Farke held this presser before the, yeah. uh, the away game at Ipswich. So, honestly, on a communication point of view, the focus on the communication is on the Farke's presser. So, it's really unlikely uh, on a communication point of view to announce 
a player when you have your manager speaking even before that or after that because yeah, the yeah. whole focus of the communication day is on the presser. Yeah. Friday is the eve of the match so the, the team is traveling to Ipswich. I don't see them honestly announcing a player on Friday if that's the point. I expected a player today honestly to be fair. Yeah, so did I. So did I. Yeah, exactly. two. I expected two, bro. I yeah, think. Uh, I think. And Saturday we play. At least on Sunday, <laughs> we I have think to look, Looking Saturday. at looking at squads on Saturday and who's in who, who are these players are in their teams will be interesting for me. For the Pansil, yeah, true. Pansil and and uh, obviously Piro will he play for Swansea? Yeah. And, and, and also remember that Fabrizio, the last name he mentioned was Michou. Yeah. And it, it didn't happen. Because yeah. it, it's saying that we are interested, we made an offer uh, regarding Amiri. So it's one thing, and it's a very difficult thing to say it's happening. But it's good yeah. to see that we are interested in that caliber of player. Yes, you know, he played, yes. He played uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, 22 games, I think, 26 on with the. Just hold that thought. Yeah. Hold that thought, hold that thought. So I just want to say big up to Leeds that for the, uh, for the uh, super sticker, big up, and also GZ. H, so thank you for the support, folks. Um, what I do want to do then, so I'll, let's just just follow the um, the story, if you like. Um, so just give us a moment, and um, uh, the uh, but yeah, let me just follow the story. So I'm just going to quickly uh, uh, go on to Twitter and just share this with you. So this is what's happened for those that don't know, and then we'll get the lads to chat on it, and we'll have a chat and get your comments in and we can all have a chinwag over it. So this was an hour ago now. Uh, exclusive Leeds United have sent a formal bid to Bayer Leverkusen for Nadimi Amiri as Farker would like to sign him. Leeds offering a four-year deal to Amiri. It will now be up to the player to decide his future. Now, this was actually on the 19th. Um, so we're on the 20... What what day is it, folks? Is it 24? 20, 23. 20, 23. Yeah, so... so so four days ago now, Florian Plettenberg said that uh, Niemi has uh, an offer on the table uh, from uh, Marseille. Leverkusen informed about talks between the player and Marseille. And he did say four days ago, one more club from England is in the race. Well, we believe now at this point, we can say that that other club is Leeds United. And of course, Ronan Murphy as well uh, has been asked specifically about him. And he's just give... Um, you know, uh, uh, s some more meat on the bones on, on what the player can can offer us. So um, he was made to look uh, a lot better by playing under Nagelsmann than when they went their separate ways. He reverted to being just a good option rather than a great one. Uh, he's good on the ball, a tricky player with an eye for a pass, but off the ball, he'd never have got into a Bielsa team. Not really a fighter, more of a luxury item, but under the right manager can be a great asset in bringing the ball forward and creating chances. Now, we were talking just off air, and I, I, I'll come to you, Lockie, because I want uh, Andrea to tell us about his time in Italy and stuff, because he spent time on loan in Genoa more recently. Um, but we can afford to have a passenger, if you like, right? We can afford to have that. We can let. We need a luxury item. We need a creative force because everything team T to green is good, but we. We're struggling to really create the chances. We can get up the pitch well, we can defend well, we can possess the ball, but in terms of actually creating goal scoring clear cut chances for a clinical number nine, we're lacking. Is this the guy that can that can offer that? Yeah, he would be. He would be that person. And like I said, when you've got the workhorses in midfield of of you know you, you Archie Gray's and Ampadu will do all that running. Amiri can just, and whether he'll play in the 10 or the 8, that is another discussion. He can play either. Um, more recently, has played the 8, but he can play either. And it'd be interesting to see what Daniel Farker will do with him in that sense. You know, he clearly wants the player, as, as Fabrizio said, this is him pushing it, as he probably is most of signings, let's be real. But for me, like, he's the, <laughs> this screen, we spoke about this, didn't we? He, this screams Daniel Farker. This screams. Yeah, it does. Yeah. This screams a player that had. Uh, at Hoffenheim under Julian Nagelsmann was a young lad who had all kind of all the potential to reach it. Kind of didn't make that next step, kind of struggled a little bit to be consistent in the Bundesliga at Bayer Leverkusen. Was a, was a big part of the team when he first went, but struggled to really establish himself, but still part of a good team and played quite a lot of minutes in part of a good team last season. So you can't, you can't, you can't, you know, forget about that. This is the top league in, in Germany and, and he's playing at a good side as well under, um, under Javi Alonso. So, in terms of a player, 
in terms of st- structure in the game, in terms of talent. I think Andre tweeted this, he's a step above the championship in that sense, for mm. sure. And you can occupy a player like that, for sure, because forget, it's like Pablo Hernandez. You think about Pablo Hernandez, you know, he right. was never a runner, right? He was never the guy well, who'd... I mean, when he were angry, you know, he'd, he'd chase a guy down and stuff like that, but he wasn't the guy who was going to run everywhere over the pitch. You give uh-huh. him a ball. You, the, the guy, Phillips would do that. He'd give, him, he'd give um, Hernandez the ball, and Hernandez would go, right, what am I going to do now? Who am I going to give the ball to? And it's that type of understanding with Amiri, I think. He's, he's got German caps. He he's, he's, was very highly regarded as a young man. In I, talk, I spoke about Max Meyer a while ago. And think of that that type of thing as a young player. But he's not actually fallen off like that. He's actually been fairly consistent in his career without making that next step. I think that's fair to say. He's at an age now where he wants to leave Leverkusen. He wants to play football. The Marseille link is there and that is worrying. Um, mm. So I'm not going to get too excited. But again, will he be guaranteed football there? You know, they've got some decent midfielders in Marseille. So... If he's looking for a, a manager as well, Daniel Farker, remember, big in Germany, very well respected, we'll know who he is. That might help us a lot. This is that type of creative force we are crying out for for me. He's not, like you say, he's not the type of player who's going to break up play and do all this stuff, but give him the ball with good players around him that make good runs off the ball, you know, talking about um, Pencil and all those type of players, even a rutter to an extent with Dan James with his pace, he will find you. And he will get mm. a lot of assists and be involved in the creative force of Leeds United if if we were to get him. Yeah, no, it's it's it's, 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 a, it, it's an exciting signing, isn't it? Is. it? It's certainly one that that would it sounds like would would get us off our seat if you like. Um, um, Samar's just put a super stick in stick sticker. Yeah, sorry, uh, big up Sam Samar. Thank you for your continued support. Keep getting your comments in, and uh, and we'll chat about it. Big, big up Russ who says maybe Amiri could be our Buendia. Would you make them comparisons, Andrea? No, honestly. No? no? Okay. Different well. type of player, yeah. Different type of player, especially because Amiri played in the number 10 role uh, in Ge- at Genoa, yeah. And uh, under uh, Bosch and uh, Seoane at Leverkusen. But uh, under Xabi Alonso, he played in the number eight. And he, he played, he was a sub basically last season. Under okay. Xabi Alonso at, at Bayer Leverkusen, he had 25 games, but just nine starts. Mm-hmm. But um, the, like Ronan Murphy said, he, he, he thrived under, under Nagelsmann. And Nagelsmann, especially if you look at the oriented pressing too, has similarities with the style of football of Farke. Yeah. Uh, because, of course, Nagelsmann was one of the disciples of uh, Ralf Ragnick and the uh, Gegen Pressing Gang, you know. <laughs> so... They have some similarities. Uh, Farke is more balanced in that, in that sense. Um, but yeah, I won't compare them him to, to Buendia to be to be fair because Buendia is a winger who can play also centrally, and Amiri is uh, a creative player, a link-up player basically. Um, of course, in Genoa when he, he moved on loan from January, I I was I was happy to see him in Italy because. I was surprised honestly to see the, the caliber of player moving to Italy to a club like Genoa who, who were struggling in the relegation battle at the time. They were just they had just been taken over, if I remember correctly, by the new ownership 777 partners, the the Americans who also own uh, Erta Berlin, for example. And Genoa was uh, was pretty in a pretty bad situation at the time. Uh, honestly, they, they didn't have a effect in them. They had this German manage, manager, Alexander Blessing, who was uh, over uh, overhyped and wasn't good. So he was one of their best players, but they they were really not uh, not uh, not up for the fight for the relegation fight, and they were basically relegated by Sampdoria in a after a, a, derby, a derby loss, you know. Uh, but yeah, he's not it's uh, not a similar type of player. Maybe later we'll talk about the the, the creative part of it and. How you can be a versatile player, yeah. Mm. No, for sure. Mm. So, um, yeah, let me uh, let me just have a look on uh, FB Ref and see see what uh, that's saying for us, folks. So and we'll I, saw have a tra- I saw someone so asking there. Yeah, yeah, I saw someone asking there what type of player he is. It's I think it's quite hard to nail down what type of player he is. He's quite because he can play at different positions. You know, I think Stapleman's a decent. If you think about 
the player in this system stipend and Lufaka loved for Norwich. As you can see by his stats there. Bit of an overall player, can do a lot of decent bro, things. Bro, if you're getting similar comparisons to Bernardo Silva at Manchester City, then get <laughs> this guy in now. Do you see what I'm saying? Barella, Lamar, you know what I mean? So if, if he's anywhere comparable to these guys... Bring the guy in. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I, another thing, because the, there's a lot of people mentioning it. You like Joaquin Correa El Tuku is a striker. He's not a midfielder, so it's a different position. So Amiri, Marcel, uh, Olympique Marcel are signing uh, Joaquin Correa from Inter. It's a different position, so okay. it's not uh, it's not the same position of Amiri. Uh, okay. I want to say as well, people comparing, like you said there, Bernardo Silva, again, not as good as Bernardo Silva by any means. Bernardo Silva is a world-class <laughs> footballer. But yeah, yeah. in terms of, you know, Bernardo Silva, the type of guy who creates play without really getting assists or goals so much, yeah. he's that creative force, that ball progressor, that guy who's going to, like you said, one-twos, pass and move, linking up yeah. the play. That is the type of player Mary is, and we need that. We're dying for that in the attacking third. No, the, 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 the good comparison in there, if you, if you can scroll down, uh, Joe, okay. Uh, yeah, the good, the, the the better comparison there for me is uh, uh, Samarjic for the type of player and Matteo Enrique. Yeah, the probably yeah. the, the mm. Barella. Honestly, Barella is good on the defensive end. Amir is not a tracking back player. To be fair, he is uh, like Ronan said. You know, it's like the, a luxury uh, yeah. because, like, uh, if, if you look at the uh, at Farkas Norwich, he had uh, in his first season uh, Mario Vrancic. And uh, uh, Marco Stieperman, yeah. who uh, also Moritz Leitner from the bench, and he used to use them. Sorry for the repetition. He used to use them both in the number ten and the number eight role. That's that, uh, Amiri is similar. Would be a, a similar type of player. He can play in the number ten, but also in the number in the number eight. But with this stat, you see that he's not a tracking back player. He's not a defensive minded player. He's just the a creative player who can bring. Uh, some creativity and leak up that we desperately need in the middle because we don't have right now a player who is not a winger because Amiri is not a winger who can who specifically plays in the middle as a link up player playing two touches and creating the space and fastening up the build up in that specific mm. region so I'm talking mm. about the final third of course and yeah. he, he has a, a good um, good awareness, you know, of where he needs to be in the final third. Yeah. Defensively, very smart footballer, isn't he? Yeah, very smart footballer. And it will be a similar player to, to Stipperman Brancic, yeah. Uh, yeah. In that uh, in the specific region. Of course it's not a defensive minded player. Uh, uh, uh his, his, his defending is not uh, is not is not really good but uh, yeah it will be a an attacking advanced midfielder. Even when he plays in the number eight, I always talked about uh, the the need and necessity to have a a number eight who can be a box to box player and uh, uh, with Ampa do more defensive minded and uh, a playmaker, defensive playmaker, uh, creating and uh, starting the build up from the back. Amiri would be the one when, for example, if he signs, of course, uh, helping in certain situations, Ampa do and. Uh, bringing the pressure away from him with the movement and creating with his move of the ball movement the space for the wingers mm -hmm. to get in behind and link up with him in certain situations especially of course it's an hypothesis but if you imagine Amiri and the player the link player we talked about yesterday pencil and Amiri that would be brilliant for example because pencil <laughs> is one that goes through the wing Amiri is, is good in terms of ball distribution in the final third. Mm -hmm. That'll be deadly. Cutting wouldn't behind, it? yeah, that, that, that would be brilliant. Yeah. And this is this we, is we the type doing, of yeah. this is the type of thinking I'm sure Daniel Farker's is looking at. Looking at his side when you watch when we play, we pin teams in uh, in, in areas of the game, but we struggle to find spaces in in areas. Uh, and a player like this is just smart enough and quick enough in thinking to be able to create space with off the ball movement. He he, he will find space just like you know Bernardo Silva finds spaces. Pablo would find spaces. Those type of players who will just find it. When you do, uh, David Silver as well is a good example. A player who you just thought, I'm not comparing, I'm not saying he's as good as them, by the way. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, a player yeah. that you've just thought, where's the space? He'll be like, all right, I'll pop up in it and I'll create a chance. Oh. Now, I've just, uh, great insight as always. Um, someone's just uh, sent me, um, 
I don't I don't want to say the name of their Twitter, but basically he said, um, really hope we stay away from Amiri. He's played 217 matches in his career with 132 starts, scoring 19 goals and assisting 22, indicating he's not very clinical. His injury record is okay, but at almost 27, it'll only get worse from here. Not a good signing. And in comparison, he says, for instance, Joel Pirro at 24 played 177 matches, Started 132 of them have scored 60 goals and assisted 18. Piro right. is yet to hit his prime. Hang on, I'll let you respond. And will better his stats if he's surrounded by better players, not to mention his insane fitness record. What do you say in response to uh, that? Well, what I will say Piro about is a striker, Joe Piro is... He doesn't need to score goals. Yeah, Joe Piro's had two <laughs> good seasons in his career in terms of goal scoring. They're the last two. Before that, it was rubbish in terms of goal scoring. Not a good career yeah. in terms of goal scoring. Until he was under Russell Martin at Swansea. So... He's he's a, he's a midfielder. A lot of his players been in central midfield. He's not he's not a guy who scores goals. Just like we mentioned, David Silva, Bernardo Silva, they don't get ten yeah, true. assists a season. Yeah. But they're he's so underrated, ball. right? Bernardo Silva oh, so underrated because he's so not underrated. the man. David Silva the... was as well. But they yeah. were the guys who would build the play up, and they were a pivotal part, not only on the ball but off the ball, of creating chances. Mm. There's more to football than just an assist. How do you get to the assist? How is that assist yeah. allowed? Who created that? You know, kind of created the assist, if you like. We're too. I know. I know it's difficult to access. Trying to find which players are good, but look, just looking at assists in play is is not a good metric. They could all be from corners, for example. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not a true rhetoric of the player itself. You can look at stats mm-hmm. and they help a bit more, but actually see the player and and to give a player a chance and what, what, like trust me and <laughs> and I'm, I'm sure Andre will agree. He's a level above this league. Yeah, in terms of yeah, what we yeah. is a level so, for me is well, a, a German international, right? He's played yeah, international. You don't, for German, that, for you don't do that easily. No. You don't do that easily. No, you um, don't. And, 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 not for and, Germany and, either. Not for Germany. Yeah, it's like, not like yeah. England who give them out like sweets. Let's be honest. Yeah. And it's another it. thing, another thing, it would be a Ampadu type of signing because, of course, Ampadu had uh, some difficult seasons abroad. Not 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 performance related, but. Uh, with teams that got relegated, of course. So it's not a good situation to to be in playing, you know. Amiri went back after Genoa to Bayer Leverkusen and found himself as a sub uh, yeah. uh, in uh, after being a German international. And someone, six, seven million. Someone just said, though, Koch was a German international. I hear ya, I hear ya. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I'm just talking yeah, about it. It's, it's, it's a different, different position, you know. And of course, he was a sub, but at Bayer Leverkusen, a, pl- a team playing in uh, in the Europa League, and of course, he was a reliable option from the bench because he had he played since twenty five games last season. So, like Ampadu, it would be a top signing because you're getting a player from the Bundesliga, a player who wants to play week in and week out and get back to the level he used to be. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm so, I don't think his injury record's that bad, to be honest. No. Especially not the last two or three years, he's been fairly. He, I mean, he's had coronavirus. Andre said that's his yeah, exactly. only real injury. Yeah. If you look at his injury record, it's also listed coronavirus. It's not. Uh, it's like seeing people saying eh, he's injury prone. He's injury prone just last season with Leeds. If you look at his record before, he wasn't injury prone. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from when he, you know, broke his knee. <laughs> yeah, I'm just yeah, looking now though. Like exactly. Yeah. Um, there's loads of people now sending like pics of. Uh, flights and, and 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 stuff now but um i've had a message from uh from my friend as well um andy scott and uh he said the more i see pictures and videos of him the more i'm convinced it's the lad from germany i saw with farka let's <laughs> let's all i mean it's really it's we're gonna do this now aren't we though we're gonna we're, we're gonna do this but that's um, a shout actually from jamie there elias chair or I know slightly similar positions, but what you say, yeah. Elias Chair or Amira, which one? Which one would you prefer, Andre? Mm. Tough, that, isn't it? <laughs> well, uh, I know the slightly different positions. Chairs a bit more I, 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 said, I said that we need two players in midfield, so okay. uh, both of them. Apart from, apart from the number 10. So you get Chair at the number 10, and you get Amiri and O'Brien as the midfielders. Mm. <laughs> or, or O'Brien, it's difficult to get both, of course. Someone's asked a great question, um, actually, concerning this, um, because, you know, it's been reported, as I say, you've got, I don't I don't think the ben- Buenanotte ones were, were genuine, but it looks, I think as well, um, Nciso's just got an injury, 
So, mm. and he's going to be out for a while. So I think Buenanotti, I know everyone's now reminding me of players that are playing internationally. I hear it, Lasaga. I've had, uh, you know, I get it. I hear it, Rasmus Christensen. He's going well in Roma, by the way. Um, but <laughs> yeah, is... so uh, that is music. Well, music to, 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 get, to get in a German midfield though, come on. This. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's one of the yeah. hardest in the world to get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. Um, but this is a great question, right? Andrea from Rendo. Andrea Joe, looking at the players linked in the last few days, who are the two you would want to come in most? Mine's pretty easy. Uh, Amiri and Pen- Penzel. Okay. Yeah, both. For me too. You agree? Both. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because of what I said. Um, uh, I'm thinking of them two together. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm thinking of them yeah, two together. Link up. Exactly. Uh, for me, um, just because I, <laughs> I like I, I want O'Brien. I did. I I I do really want Lewis O'Brien. Um, if I'm honest. Um, oh yeah, O'Brien. Know. Yeah, yeah. I'm changing uh, O'Brien and Bainsett. Sorry. Yeah, I don't I, know I enough of about O'Brien. The, um, I don't know enough of the other guys. Like I've not seen them, but based on based on the reaction to this from a lot of people that clearly know more about ball than me, um, it would be Amiri and O'Brien. I think. Um, Amiri and O'Brien would be would be the two I would pick at this stage. Re- uh, render bolster in our midfield, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, need yeah. bodies there, but then again, we need a striker, don't we? Like, I don't want to. <laughs> I'm I'm trying so hard to not get excited. Yeah, yeah. But right, can you imagine this? Yeah. So you've got Melian Gold, you've got Jed Spence, you've got Strauch and Rodon. You've got Byram. You've then got in midfield. You've got um, Ampadu and Gray, Ampadu and uh, uh, O'Brien, for example, or all three. And then, you know, Paintsill, um, your man Amiri, and then Pirro. <laughs> like something along those lines would be insane, wouldn't it? Keep, like, keep it, Somerville as well. Yeah, Somerville non, non tour. Oh, drinks my red tea. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, that, uh, yeah. So, someone say you lost so, me with Melly Angle. I don't think Melly is going anywhere at this point. But, yeah. Um, well, Colin says, suppose we get four players. How long before we actually have them in the team and have them in the team play Farker Ball October, November? <laughs> and no, because I we've got the international break. We've only got two more league games left. Obviously, Ipswich at the weekend. Then we play Tuesday against um, Salford, and then the Saturday we've got Chef Wednesday. That's the day after. The transfer window. Um, do you think we'll see any players play between now and uh, Chef Wednesday? Bearing in mind, Chef Wednesday is the Saturday after the transfer window shuts. You mean any new players? Any? Will they be? Will we see them play? Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. I think it's, 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 we, we saw Road on a week after he came in. Um, well, he was on the. So bench. when are you expecting these players in though, Locker? There's only eight uh, days left. Bro. Well, if we get them anywhere between now and the deadline, that's another week, right? So they've got a full week of training. That's enough for them. We've only got eight, eight, eight days left. Yeah, but Chef Wednesday's so... week after, right? Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, no. Is that on or the no. day after? No, deadline, it's yeah? the day after. It's the day okay. after the deadline. Yeah, well, probably none of them. <laughs> the, the deadline's Friday. <laughs> then Saturday we play. I thought it was the week after. Um, oh, probably. None. <laughs> there, 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 there's a, a huge risk last week. Also, yeah. a, a risk lead later to familiar panic buyings. True. Next week, because we we've left left it late and we need, like I said, seven players at least. We get four for me, or three, three slash four. And that, there's the huge risk of of doing panic buyings. You know. Mm. I think it's a I huge gamble. Deadline day as well, like. Deadline day can either be really quiet or you see teams get two or three players on deadline day. Deadline day is nuts. So, oh, can happen on deadline day, good or bad. Yeah, the, the only problem is that the, the, the clock is ticking, is, is ticking down. It's like a countdown, you know. And you need I mean, just to... um, a few we, we people play, have just yeah. a few people have just tagged me in this, folks. This was the 21st of August, uh, which came after the um, uh, Florian Plettenberg uh, link. Let me just share this quickly on the screen. Um, when translated, Olympic Marseille informed uh, La Provence, which I'm assuming is a, a publication in, in France, that Nadim, France, yeah. Nadim Amiri did not interest Marseille. 
This is from Omaniqua, uh, who is, um, let's have a look, because the own belongs to Omar, so it supports yeah, 90,000. Um, yeah, like, like a page. fan page. Yeah, like exactly. a fan page. page. Yeah. But, but according to the uh, French publication on the 21st, he didn't interest them. But then Fabrizio has included them in the tweet. So I'm not sure. I'm not no, sure. Yeah, that, that was Pl Platinburg. Yeah. Oh, so Fabrizio hasn't put them in the tweet, right? I think okay, he, he has. so so Plettenberg on the ninth on the nineteenth says that they've then said, according to the publications in France, that Marseille don't want him, and then now Fabrizio say we've offered. Okay, so I if, we that, if we follow that, if we follow that, have a clear run. <laughs> Clear run. <laughs> He's ours, basically. Yeah, is that what we're saying? <laughs> no, He's no, ours. No. <laughs> Not a chance. He might be ours. He might be ours. Don't do that to um, me. I thought, I thought Max Aarons was ours. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I, to be honest, I don't think any player's ours at the minute, are they? Let's be honest. Like, we've... Uh, I don't know. Like, I just... Because it, it, it sounds like they're all there, ready to go, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, um, people keep tagging us in the Carrera link as well to Marseille. The lads have said like they play in totally different positions, Carrera striker as opposed to a ten. I think uh, based on what the lads are saying, so that's not not comparable. Uh, any three operators you'd go for after deadline? I don't really know who's available on the free and, market uh, apart from Masengo. Yeah, Masengo. Yeah, Masengo. I, 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 I was just saying that the agent of Amiri is his brother. So maybe the guy uh, on the in the car on the flight. With Parker. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. This is the thing. What does he look it? like? Let's see what he looks like. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 have, I, have, I, have, I have a picture if you if you if you want. Yeah, go on. Do they look share. similar, Andre? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they look similar. Is is more of course he's older than than I'm. Oh man, you're back. Oh, you're back. back. What are you got, doing here? Got, got you got told me you were coming back. <laughs> You told me you weren't coming back. What are you doing, man? Yeah, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know that, mate. I don't know. I just work in a club in the past, but I don't know that. Other part. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> Andrea. Tell where did you used to work, Andrea? Tell the man. Tell the man. Regina, Regina. But yeah, Regina. we were just here saying in our opinions, mate. Uh, just yeah, it is what it is. It is we enjoy the, is. the critics, the constructive critics, and that because they generate debate, and we can. That exchange guy, different yeah. opinions, you know. That's that's no one's no one's debate. professing to be a sporting director here, are we? Yeah, exactly. Just no idea. Yeah, about any of that I don't stuff. know. Yeah, no. Nah. Like um, this is uh, this is his, his agent. Knowing Leeds United, look, uh, knowing Leeds United's look, we'll end up with a brother. <laughs> 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 he, he'll be the one signing. <laughs> um, yeah, he looks more like built like a centre back. His brother, but uh, yeah, um, <laughs> he's got. He's got no. <laughs> he's got really good brows. He's got really good brows. So something he for look, the ladies. He looks like a good player, doesn't he? You know, yeah, he yeah, exactly. We will will have gone from um, like because I believe the only good thing that Robin Cock brought to Leeds United was his tash. So at least Amiri um, will have his eyebrows going for him. Um, so that <laughs> that's something. Um, yeah, get a proper job. Exactly, Demar. No, <laughs> uh, love it's all love. It is stick all it, love in the chat. Of stick course. his brother in goal. <laughs> hey, uh, stick his brother in goal. Someone said, "Yeah, I love that." Um, the Fabrizio Romano tweet has been given the um, seal of approval by Graham Smith. Graham Smith dropped it a retweet, I believe. People are telling me. I'm just having a look now to see if that is the case. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm not getting excited yet. No, uh, no, I haven't seen that. <laughs> I haven't seen. No, I think people are lying to me because it's not on my notifications, folks. So, because normally you think, oh, if they're retweeting, oh no, he, 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 well, he, they, they were trolling earlier. Maybe this is what. Oh no, he did. He did. About. Yeah, oh, he did. No, he did. They, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. <laughs> yeah. The mad thing was, that was naughty what they did earlier. Oh, wow. you know? That got me a little excited. Then what happened yeah. for two hours. <laughs> I know, right? It did. Know, but it, it, it Graham me... retweeted it. Graham retweeted it, yeah. Let me uh, big shout out uh, Lord Jay Coyle, who has been a member for a month. Big up to you. He says, I'm off to watch the wrestling on Sunday, so hopefully it's a good week all round. I do hope so, mate. Thanks for being a member of uh, the um, the channel. Um 
just bear with me uh, one second. Let's see. Um, well, kill Gallum, man. Graham's the Graham's the man. Um, let's have a look. Um, yeah. Um, Smith over here, <laughs> bro. Poor Filmer. Uh, Tom, Tom says, "I love your channel, Joe. You're great." But that guy saying about the operations, etc., is kind of right. Sorry to say, it's different business nowadays. And if you study it for a small, I, no one's sat here saying we know what's going on. No one sat here saying we oh, know what's what, what going on. What, what operation? Yeah, I don't know what operation. Like, genuinely, I don't know what you're talking about. I only brought that comment up. I only brought that comment up because the guy yesterday told me I should get a job and yeah. that us YouTubers don't have a clue. So I just said to him, Why are you watching? That's and then he's put in the comments, which means he's still watching. So but, that was just it was just a bit of light-hearted fun. Um, Joey, I don't can comment. Can I, can I say, so, can I say on, something? Go on, go on, go on. We are here discussing our opinion. And yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We're talking about football. We are not pretending to be the new Monchi, the new director of football of a club. We are football fans. We are discussing our opinions. You can agree with, with the opinions. You can disagree. It's okay. Yeah. That's football. Yeah. That, that's the beauty of it. Agreeing or disagreeing. Yeah. And we're not pretending to be in the nose or anything else. No. It's just the beauty of discussing about football. That's, that's just that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like that, that, that same guy came on my videos and said, why are you criticizing, like, worse than this, same words, like, why are you saying this about Matteo Jules if you're a disgrace? I didn't mention Matteo Joseph once in the videos. Mm. People like to have their own agendas and whatever. Man. Look, at you, look at my man. <laughs> Joe reason we watch her is to laugh at you. Cheers, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's class. Um I'm 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 glad I'm glad I, I I bring some some joy into your life. Um, watch a comedy though, bro. Uh, sponsoring the operations. Thank you, Tom. That will go into our transfer kitty. Uh, when we uh, start <laughs> sign players for Leeds United. Um, has a Madoza every night. Why <laughs> sign this German for when we can have that? <laughs> this guy loves you know that. What? I like this. It keeps it up. I like it. Consistent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's consistent with it, isn't he? He is definitely consistent. Um, Aaron makes a good point. Kai Havertz looked good at Leverkusen. Look at him now. Um, nah, but listen, we're in the championship. I think if we were yeah. to ma ma manage to get a me, we done. Um, he instantly becomes the best player the championship's ever seen for me. <laughs> what, what do you better, reckon, better, lads? better than Harry Winks. Yeah. Mm. I mean, listen, let's be real. <laughs> yeah, just, on <laughs> just on Harry Winks, our centre-back Pascal Straub has the same numbers as Harry Winks. Me, I have those numbers. Yeah, you have the same numbers. This is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, man, we love it. Um, we we love it. Uh, Mario Gozza, top player. I remember. Yeah, but Amiri uh, Amiri is is it's very good. Will be very good for the championship. Of course, we're talking about the championship. Yeah. For the Premier League, is yes. a different a different yes. type of uh, reflection, of course, on the type mm -hmm. of talk for me. Uh, but we're not in Premier League, so there's no need to. To reflect on that on the level of how we will be in the Premier League right now, yeah, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. And, and like, um, I think I, I, Andrea, you need to give the people what they want. Andrea, can you grow tash like cock? Uh, maybe just get rid when... of this bit and just grow the tash. Like no, I think no, it would no, suit no, you, no, bro. No tash. No, no we, tash. We, we go, we go again. But yeah. maybe, yeah, maybe if if we get promoted, maybe. We yeah, could fill him get promoted, like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you triggered me. You triggered me, Broski. You triggered me. Um, if you if you if you live in Hebden, big up. That's near where I live. If that's like Phil Hebden, or that might actually be your name. But if you live in Hebden, big up to you. We've had a couple of super chats. Uh, Bobby says, "What you see in all Leeds TV days, bro? Don't agree with everything, but that's football. But always enjoy your content." Odden Winky on deadline day. <laughs> is Odden Wink? Where is Odden Winky now? I'm assuming he's retired. I'm assuming. Yeah, he's retired. Um, yeah. I think. Yeah, he will. He will be. But yeah, this is what it's about, Bobby. It's just light hearted, isn't it? We we enjoy doing this video late night leads because it also means people, you know, on the other side of the pond can watch it and stuff. So so that's great. Uh, Alex Smith says, "Can't believe Joe Smith still hasn't signed." To be honest, loving the chat tonight, guys. Who's Joe Smith? Oh, it's your son. It, yeah, you. It's your son, right? Or is it your cousin, Alex? I can't remember. Sorry, mate. My guy. I, I forget. I forget. Um, 
yeah, oh, baller goal, by the way. Didn't he? He's got a good yeah, goal, yeah. I remember. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember. I showed it, didn't I? I put it on the screen, yeah, didn't yeah. I? Yeah, I, I remember. remember it. Yeah, yeah. On the, yeah. On the left, they're going to the right and shooting. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Sorry, Alex, I do remember. Um, Odom Wingy is an agent now. There you yeah. go. Um, yeah, there you go. Maybe he's um, Amiri's agent. Maybe he can get that done. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, I thought I'm just. Never mind. I <laughs> just read the comments, man. It's, it's lit. It's funny. It's funny. Right. Okay. So, folks, we're going to have to ask that question again. Yeah. We're coming up towards an hour. There's 1,500 people, by the way. Amazing wow. to see. So, thank you so much for the uh, support. Make sure you check out Lockie's channel, okay? At Lockie Leads, which, again, I haven't put in the. We do this in such a rush. Um, Just one moment. Let me put it in there now. I'm going to put Lockie Leads as the. Um, Link in the description. I want you to all go over uh, and check his latest drop, which, of course, is Rutter. Thing is with Lockie, right, he loves doing the content, and he's sat on, like, I need some more legs to this so I can actually take – because his videos take so long to do, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, he he can't, like, oh, I'll just do one today on Joel Pirro because then tomorrow it might be someone else. So let's okay. let's hope we actually get some signing so Lockie can go to work on his. Uh, uh, yeah, Lockie's yeah, no, 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 is on, he's on, he's on a bench waiting like the guy on Mars. Literally, uh, I was in the middle of a Max Aaron's, uh, Aaron's, yeah. or whatever his name is. Aaron's. Uh, yeah. Max, of... just call him Max. Yeah, I'm in just the middle of that video and uh, yeah, that happened. And then it, and then so now it I'm, went, I'm not it? doing it until it's basically announced. Yeah. Let's do it. Um, I have put Lockie's uh link uh in the channel, uh in the channel description. So please go and check that out. Um, big up Stacey for the lovely words. Um, right, okay. So, when's the next signing coming in, boys? When's the next signing coming in? I'm here Who's tomorrow. Going for... No, come on, man. Be realistic. You being realistic with that? <laughs> you guys were telling me we were getting one today. Yes, and now going no two chance. today. I thought we were getting two today. <laughs> I, I went, no, By the I'm way, sorry. I've actually I've been getting stick for that, and I was like, it's just a guess. Like you can't so, uh, have me for that. I said about three weeks ago we we're getting three in one week, and we didn't get any. So, <laughs> mate, we've been saying it since the start, man. <laughs> oh god. Um, next signing. Oh, god. if it, if a mere thing takes a, a while, I don't know. It's Thursday, Friday, maybe. Oh, I'll go after the game. I think. Joe it's Barron Sunday. says January. Joe Barron says January. <laughs> oh, bad shout. No, bad shout. That Sunday after it. Sunday after the uh, after the game. The day after the game. I think we'll get one Friday. Ooh. Yeah. Before the game. Who? Yeah, Friday night. Yeah. Friday night. Who? Are you thinking? Yeah. Fuck, fuck knows. <laughs> I don't know anything at this point, bro. Like honestly, like let's be real. We're linked to someone that <sighs> it's mad, isn't it? We know that they're busy though. It's mm. doing my head in, but if we follow this story on the 19th, when Florian Plettenberg, who's top tier, by the way, reported it, he mentioned it, English club. Well, that's got to be the English club, right? We've yeah. got to be that English club. So that means they're busy. We know as well, we, we have it on pretty solid information that also we tried to hijack Brandon Williams before he moved to Ipswich, Ipswich. right? So so we, we are... Trying, but what, like I said on my show earlier on, I do not want to get to Angus Kinnear's interview with the square ball. Big shout out the square ball, by the way. And him saying, we tried, we tried, we tried. And I know Dan, I know mm. Dan Moylan will press him because he's great yeah, at them yeah, interviews. Yeah. He will press him. But for a fan, for me, it will be annoying if I hear him say, oh, we tried, we did try, but this, but that, oh, Premier League, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear any of it, but you yeah. must get the signings because you've left it this long for a reason. Um, maybe your data tells you it's best to move in the last week of the window, although we've had Spin Doctor tell us before it's never good to work in the last week. So so I just don't know. I just don't know, but you must thing, get signings. The thing about the last bit of the window is, well, the risk is either you don't get the player or in another side to that, as it's near the end of the window, the, the process Panic, can be sped up. And you oh, panic yeah. though as well, right? The other side is, oh shit, we haven't got yeah, him. Yeah. You can't go down that. We need to avoid that road. Hopefully, the targets we are targeting, the guys we've heard, or maybe some others, are still our, you know, not maybe not our first targets, but are still up there because we can't mm. be panicked by him. That'll be disastrous. Yeah, Do you I think, think Dan? Be, uh, 
And Andre, do you think Daniel Farker will speak on any of it tomorrow in the press? So everyone's going to be watching that, by the way. I think it'll be like half one. Mm, honestly, I think he will continue on the line that he, um, he will talk only about the players that are, are, are available to him uh, for mm. the for the match day squad. I don't think he will talk on the transfers because in the end he can say, I, I like to bring in more players, but the transfer questions should be asked to the to the other guys, you know, Amon Dan, Steinson, but of course, the face of the club is Daniel Falk right now. He's the only one speaking. And uh, yeah, I think the answers will be the same, especially because uh, we are, we're facing a uh, a difficult test, you know, uh, at Ipswich. And I think he will continue on the club line because, of course, there's the, his brief before the, the presses. He's very honest, though, because yes. he... He, he faces that those uh, range of questions, you know, of questions very well, mm-hmm. even regarding situations who are not just uh, tasks of the manager, you know, like the financial situation he, he talked about. They will surely ask him about Sinistera tomorrow and Nyonto. For mm-hmm. me, they will ask him if he, if he likes to bring in more players. I think he'll answer that. Uh, he, only, he will only talk about the players that are at least right now. But yeah, uh, I think yeah. we'll hear again that we need players all over in all over the pitch, you know, in you know every what? specific position, but nothing specific. Mm. You know what I saw earlier as well? People saying Daniel Fax can be fed up. I think he likes all this talk. <laughs> I don't think he minds oh. talking about it. I don't. He's the type of he's like a big part of it as well. He's a big part of the recruitment. He's he's very involved. He was at Norwich, uh, you know, and he got a lot of criticism for it, but I don't think he used to be a director of football as well, so he gets this side of it. Yeah, that's true. I, I yeah. don't think he's that bothered about speaking about it. Like, obviously, yeah, he can't say manager. certain things. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why he'll silence certain things. He won't talk about everything. But in general, he'll answer the question. I don't think it's going to be the point where he's going to like snap or bite and say, you know, he'll say what he can. Like you said, he's honest. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. But I do want more questions about the team and stuff like that. It's, yeah, sure we, did, well. we didn't even speak about uh, West Brom uh, yeah. in the last press, uh, did we? Uh, we didn't speak about it. Uh, we've had a couple of super chats just before we finish up. He says, here, Joe, have some pennies. See if you can find a decent striker. Not for 4 99 mate. You might get lucky on a page you play for 4 99 maybe. Uh-huh. Um, Alex Smith says, next signing will be when Andrea has a tan. It's mad oh, when you yeah. consider he lives in Italy as well. <laughs> No, but um, it, it, it it doesn't change, mate. You can stay four hours, five hours, but really? it doesn't change. Go on the sunbed like me, mate. I, I, uh, I've i had a beard trim, a hair shave, and a sunbed, bro. So 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 get you wow. sent there. Uh, <laughs> um, also, someone said, I've, made, I've lost it. Um, Lockie needs a plan. Lockie needs a plan in the background to fit in. Oh, I exactly. feel like where your plugs are there, we could get you a nice little plan. Have you got one of you? No, that would be awesome. Oh, he, he, oh he, right, okay. he, he, he had the Man United shirt. Look at that with the Bielsa book. Oh, no, people, <laughs> it's not online. I'll, I'll show the book if I have to. It's not on No, United don't, shirt. don't, bro. Bro, don't, honestly. Yeah, oh, man. No, I, wore, I, I wore a red t shirt once and all my comments. I, I, I guess for engagement, it worked. It worked. Yeah, for engagement. true. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I listen. Need, I need something there that I, yeah, I do. Yeah, so in front of where the plugs are, a nice plant. A nice yeah, plant. Yeah. Greenery, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, I got the idea from um, from Dan Moylan, actually. To be fair, yeah. Dan Moylan's great. Like he he helps me out on it. So they have a few. They're lighting and that's six square balls elite, mm-hmm. by the way. But um, like, yeah, who's, so... the, who's the player on that shirt again? Hmm? The, on, on the shirt that you are you are used to have the card that you used to have. Oh, it's not. It's just a it's just a, a shirt with a number on it. Oh, okay. It's an agent book. It's about agents and stuff. Oh, the book. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Agents and business yeah. and all that boring stuff. In fair football. enough. Anyway, we've we're we're going off piece here. It's changing to ch- it's changing to changing rooms. I bet you don't. Uh, do you know that reference, Lockie? No, no, clue. no, I didn't think you would. I don't know Andrea what, but does anyone remember Carol? Smiley, smiley, smiley. <laughs> the older people will. The older people will. Trust me, they'll know about Carol. Smiley, smiley, smiley. Anyway, uh, we're rambling now, and we've gone off piste. I'm going to go continue to watch uh, Andor. Uh, Lockie's gonna go and watch the. Did you watch the two episodes? I assume you yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. Of uh, Ashoka, Ashoka, yeah, Ashoka, Ashoka. yeah, yeah. Ashoka. It's hard. Yeah. Um, nineties TV classic. Jonathan Brock knows. See, they know about Carol Smiley, 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 and Lawrence Llewellyn Bourne and all that jazz. Uh, Andrea, 
Good man, as always. You're a legend. I like your t-shirt as well. I love that picture you shared actually of Kobe Bryant. Yeah, it, 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 it would have been 45 today. Oh man. Yeah. Um, let me just have a, a look at this. Um, that was a. Odd I, I, I have, I have a picture. With, I have a picture with him too when he when he was in here in 2016. But you have a picture with him. Yeah, uh, I can find it for you if you. Yes, please. <laughs> Yeah, but he, <laughs> he's blur, he's blurred because uh, um, I the phone was shaking. Oh. I can't. I can't oh, you're that nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 2016, but uh, oh, yeah. yeah, let me let me find it yeah, on Insta. Uh, what is it? I'd shave, not a chance. I've appeared. There's not a chance I'm shaving my head. Would you not? Do, oh, no, mate, you no, might no. not have a choice. Go like this. No. My oh. hairline's all right. My hairline's all right. Are you but... sure? I go like this, then. No. Come on. Ah, oh, it is all right, actually. Look right. at that face. I've never seen that. I've got a big forehead. <laughs> That's why I've got this. Do you know what I used to get called? Oh, gosh. I... Well, my brothers used to call me Big Edge, yeah? <laughs> oh, look, wow, look nice. How it is. Look how yeah. it is. <laughs> you were scared, then. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Big Ed, Five Ed, instead of Four Ed, Five Ed. Or S.A. Head. Essay head because I could fit an essay on my forehead. That's how I used to get called. That's the most Halifax thing I've ever. Yeah, heard. exactly, man. Essay head. So, yeah. <laughs> essay head. Yeah. So there you go. Um, it is what it is. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't scar me at all. Um, <laughs> nah, but listen. Uh, all love. Um, smash a like on the video. Don't forget to um pay your rent. As I say, subscribe to the channel as well. We hit 23k the other day, so so big up to you. Um, all for the continued support. Make sure you check out the YouTube shorts. Hopefully you've been um, you've been uh, enjoying them as well. Little clips from the videos. Make sure you check out Andrea on Twitter. Make sure you check out Lockie as well. And uh, we'll no doubt we were going to have a night off, but you know, Avengers, <laughs> had, Avengers had to assemble and all that sort of jazz. I, but, I was yeah. watching the I was watching the volleyball. We were playing against Croatia. So I got You're the, pro you love the... any sport, don't you, bro? No, because uh, I was watching the, the family. You know? yeah. I, I, I like volleyball too, but, but yeah. I, I, the, the, the main ones are football and basketball, but I like watching yeah. volleyball too. Yeah, And, and we're, we're European champions in both the men and women so in, in volleyball. So next next season, uh, Olympics, uh, hopefully, we'll get to Olympic man, champions. I, I, I wish I could tell you anything yeah. about um, volleyball, but no. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, you're I, pretty, I, you're pretty crap in that in the UK. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, 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 well I don't even know. I don't, I don't mind watching the Brazilian women volleyball. That's all right at times, <laughs> but um, anyway, <laughs> I, will, I will see you in a bit. Okay, peace out. <laughs>